hi uh, let's know about estimation of serum triglycerides this is one of the biochemistry test we require some requirements to perform this test so equipments and apparatus required are calorimeter centrifuge auto pipettes test tubes some chemical we have to procure for this test so we require triglyceride kits distilled water and we can collect sample from the patient so use an hemolytic serum or plasma from the heparinized blood and uh, fasting for 9 to 12 hours uh, is required before the triglyceride test so general information about triglyceride test triglyceride is the most common form of fat in human body the triglyceride molecule contain three fatty acid and one glycerol so this is the chemical component present in the triglyceride molecule three fatty acid and one glycerol can make one molecule of triglyceride high level of triglyceride in blood may raise the risk of coronary artery disease so coronary artery is the artery that supply blood to the heart muscles and when there is a disease of coronary artery in such condition uh, it may lead to, to heart attack or uh, the heart disease so uh, this high level of triglycerides can increase the risk of coronary artery disease Generally, a person's triglyceride levels are measured along with cholesterol test. So this is the when and this is a part of a lipid profile actually. So when we perform triglyceride test, we have to perform cholesterol test as well. Normal level of triglycerides are below 150 mg per dl. So 150 mg per dl and or less than that is considered normal in blood level above 200 mg per dl are high and uh, there are some factors that can raise triglyceride level so that can raise means that can increase the level of triglyceride in the blood so being overweight if someone is overweight so this is one of the factor in which because of overweight the triglyceride level may be high in the blood Physical inactivity uh, means a person is not doing any physical work in such moment in such condition of the body uh, triglyceride levels may be high Smoking can induce high uh, increased triglyceride level excess alcohol use uh, Are diet very high in carbohydrates certain diseases and medications uh, some genetic disorders so what we studied that these are the conditions in which uh, which leads to increased level of triglycerides in the blood now we uh, will talk about principle of the test this test is based on the enzymatic method okay we uses a lot of enzymes three important enzymes no not three it's four enzymes are there so first is a triglycerides uh, in the sample is is uh, hydrolyzed to glycerol and fatty acid in the presence of lipase so there is a lipase in the uh, in the reagent which break down the uh, triglyceride into the glycerol and fatty acid now the glycerol which is produced uh, will bind with the uh, in the presence of atp uh, it becomes glycerol 3 phosphate and adp this reaction is catalyzed by glycerol kinase uh, which is the one of the enzyme uh, present in the reagent now glycerol 3 phosphate which is produced in the second reaction will participate in the third reaction so glycerol 3 phosphate in the presence of oxygen is converted to dap which is a dihydroxyacetone phosphate plus h2o2 which is a hydrogen peroxide this reaction is catalyzed by glycerol 3 phosphate oxidase 
and here we get hydrogen peroxide in this reactions which will in which will participate in the the fourth reaction so in the fourth reaction what we see there's 2o2 plus 4 amino anti pyrene plus 4 chlorophenol uh, becomes quinone imine di acl and water this reaction is catalyzed by pod peroxidase uh, and uh, it gives uh, a quinone imine di complex this is what the principle which is mentioned in uh, equation form or chemical reaction form and uh, this is a step by step uh, reactions which are which takes place in the in the test tube when we mix the serum containing triglyceride and when we mix the working reagent so working reagent uh, may contain lipase gk means uh, glycerol kinase and then glycerol phosphooxidase peroxidase atp right so for amino antipyrene for chlorophenol so these are the components of the reagent which uh, have favored the you know formation of quinone amine dye in the presence of triglycerides so this is what we have studied that triglycerides are hydrolyzed to glycerol and fatty acid by lipase and the glycerol is then phosphorylated by glycerol kinase to glycerol 3 phosphate in the presence of atp and the glycerol uh, phosphate oxidase oxidize glycerol 3 phosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate and hydrogen peroxide and the condensation of hydrogen peroxide is for chlorophenol and for aminophenazone or for amino antipyrene in the presence of peroxidase produces a red colored quinonemine dye so we have got the quinonemine dye which is red in color and the intensity of the color complex formed is measured at 530 nanometer which we can record colorimetrically so in the colorimeter we have to select the wavelength 530 nanometer and we can measure the intensity of the color so absorbance that is uh, recorded is directly proportional to the concentration of triglyceride in the sample now let's know the procedure of the test uh, we uh, uh, we have to take three test tubes it should be cleaned and it should be dried uh, we can label T, S and B respectively T for test, S for standard, B for blank and then uh, we can prepare the respective ingredients in the respective test tubes so here what we see that uh, there are three test tubes are there test, standard, blank and we can add working reagent 1 ml in each tube then serum in test con uh, test uh, 0.01 ml triglyceride standard 200 mg per dl so we have to add 0.01 ml of this standard in the standard tube and the distilled water 0.01 ml in the blank after that mix properly the each tube ingredients then incubate at 37 degrees celsius for 10 minutes now after 10 minutes we can measure the absorbance at uh, 505 nanometer and uh, we can do the calculation once you have taken the absorbance so serum triglyceride in mg per dl can be calculated by using this formula od of test divided by od of standard multiplied by 200 and the results we can write in uh, mg per dl serum triglyceride is equal to the value you have to take and mg per dl the unit you have to write in the normal range for this serum triglyceride is below 160 or 150 mg per dl what is the significance of high triglycerides the high triglyceride levels may result in hardening of the arteries so hardening of arteries is a process uh, called uh, atherosclerosis so atherosclerosis is a process in which the arteries become hard because of deposition of lipids um, fat what we see cholesterol and uh, which increases the risk of stroke uh, hypertension heart attack heart disease and uh, now let's know some error analysis that uh, which, which may leads to uh, produce false positive or false negative results so uh, always use uh, the sera uh, free from uh, you know high bilirubin so ectric and lipemic sera may interfere with the test 
ectric means uh, uh, the high bilirubin and lipemic means the lot of lipids like oily serum uh, or you know milky serum may can interfere with the test results ensure complete clot formation has taken place prior to centrifugation you know uh, when you collect the sample when you put it in the plain vial then uh, we need serum so let it uh, clot for some time 10 to 15 minutes once it is clotted properly then we have to centrifuge to separate the serum so this is what proper time should be given to for the clot formation prior to centrifugation uh, we have completed uh, we have studied uh, estimation of uh, triglyceride in the serum uh, thank you for listening